What's your favorite meal at Dantino's? Well, I like their wedding soup, I like their salads, uh, but you can't go wrong with the sausage sandwich, the steak sandwich, there's a lot of good things here. I'm a big eater, so this is my kind of place. Love it. When you talk about home cooking, I mean, you guys have some amazing home cooking. What, what is it about playing, though, at the jar? I mean, the kids are packing the house. What is it? We haven't lost in two years there, um, knock. Um, <laughs> but there's something about it. Our guys are comfortable there. The fans, like even last night when we played uh, Toledo, we were in trouble and the fans picked us up. It's just a strange place and it's a big time home court advantage. What are some of your routines or your superstitions as a coach? Well, Hakeem, you know I was a baseball player, yep. so I'm probably the most superstitious coach in America. I, I went, uh, when we won 12 games in a row earlier this year, I, I didn't get a haircut from December 10th <laughs> until uh, February 10th. So I went a long time. Uh, I was starting to get a little bit scraggly. And then I, I didn't wear a pair of brown shoes for probably a year. Lost a game or two okay. and just thought they were a little jinxed. You just mentioned playing baseball. You were an MVP third baseman at Akron. You also got hit by pitch 28 times during your career. What's that all about? You getting hit by a pitch? The only way I could play was to walk, get hit by pitches, and I'm the worst male member of my family <laughs> athletically, so that's what I had to do to play. You grew up in Akron, went to Firestone High School, went to Akron, got a master's degree. What is it about Akron that you love and that you say, you know what, I'm proud to be from here? I have the opportunity to coach at a place where I really care about it. And so I, I try to put everything I have into it. And I think if you ask LeBron even, winning the championship at Cleveland was even more special to him than winning it in Miami mm -hmm. because this is where he's from. So you have tremendous pride in this area. And so I'm not comparing myself to LeBron, certainly, but in a lot of ways it's similar in that if I can win championships or win games in the NCAA tournament or go to the Final Four in Akron, it would mean more to me than anywhere else in the country. Speaking of LeBron, you coached him for two years at St. Vincent St. Mary. How would you describe your guys' friendship? I think it's a deep friendship. It's one of those friendships that we don't have to really see each other. I think he knows I'd do anything for him. And I only try to get around him when he needs something, when mm -hmm. he's struggling. And I know that if I had a problem, uh, I know he'd come to my rescue. Good, that's Coach, great. That's fantastic. Uh, that's great stuff, man. High Appreciate level. It. It's a high <laughs> level guy right here.